They broke through my front door. They blew off the garage door and they um, used a Humvee to uh, plow down my back fence. That's Vicki Baker. In 2020, a fugitive barricaded himself inside her house in Texas. A SWAT team smashed every window and destroyed the home. Nearly everything was ruined and her daughter's dog went deaf and blind. Then things got worse. Her insurance wouldn't pay. Why? Because many policies don't cover damage caused by the government. But when Baker asked the city to compensate her, officials said the government had immunity. She's not the first. In 2015, a fugitive in Colorado barricaded himself inside Leo Leck's home. A SWAT team did so much damage that his $580,000 house had to be demolished. The city gave him only $5,000. So how is this legal? Some courts have ruled that victims aren't entitled to compensation when the government takes action under police powers. In 2020, the Supreme Court declined to hear Lex's case. So for the foreseeable future, there will be innocent people left holding the bag when cops destroy their property.